Hey everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and today I want to talk about RV ladder safety, properly, safely going up and down a ladder. First, I'm going to show you the wrong way to do it, then we're going to talk about the right way to do it. Now the wrong way is how I see people doing it all the time, which is the whole reason I put this video together. What I see people do is they, they back up toward this ladder and they get their feet kind of in here and they're all kind of wobbly and unstable and then they start going backwards through these stanchions right here. There's just way too many ways you can get yourself tripped up and go ace over tea kettle and end up breaking your neck on this thing or throwing your shoulder out. Now, the other thing I see people do is they do this weird, like, one hand and one foot monkey climb kind of thing on the way down. Now, I'm doing it a really big, weird, exaggerated way to kind of drive the point home, but you get the idea. Now, when you're standing on this thing, and you've only got two points of contact like this, if my foot or my hand slips, I don't have a whole lot of a backup plan. It's not like I've got a mountain climber strapped to this thing keeping me safe. And the only thing you really need to change is maintain three points of contact with the RV and the ladder. That's a basic concept. They teach you that in the Boy Scouts. But it's funny how that one little thing will keep you so much safer. And it's just get three things on and then take one or two steps takes a little longer you might look a little silly or feel a little silly doing it but you will keep yourself a lot safer now what I'm doing here I'm keeping my weight leaning over the RV this is a really critical thing right here because you don't want to lean back off the RV which leads me to kind of a really good point don't strap crap to the RV's ladder I've talked about this before RV ladders are not designed with the idea of cargo hauling in mind the stanchions, which is the part of the ladder that hooks to the trailer, they are not designed to withstand that kind of geometric stress and force in transit. Now, a really good parallel to that is if uh, you look at a bunkhouse camper, when I say, you know, this RV has a 300 pound bed rating, the caveat to that is that's when the RV is not in motion, when it's sitting in place. If you put cargo on that bunk and you bounce it down the road, its uh, rating actually drops to 200 pounds. So you have different ratings if you're moving or if you're standing still. Now consider the placement of a ladder on an RV. It's all the way on the back of the camper, 99% of the time anyway. That means that it gets the most bounce and stress. If your axles are here, the back of the RV is bouncing everywhere. So if you have cargo load back here, it's really cranking on that ladder. So three points of contact, don't strap crap. Short of that, take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping everyone. 